What's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to teach you and I'm going to show you how to create an scheduled bot. This bot is only going to work at certain times and we are going to make all that logic. But first of all, as always, let me show you something. So here it is the code of the bot. It is actually one of the exercises in my online platform. So yeah, you just come here to exercises and it is this one, this last one. You just put here bot con horario. This is in the Spanish uh, server, but yeah, you have here the exercise. How do I get to this community? In order to get to this community, you just have to come here to my platform and you just have to join the course, the MQL5 course. If you join the Spanish course, you will be able to join the Spanish server. And if you join the English course, you will be able to access to the English server. Of course, you have a trial of two days for free if someone else registers with your friendly call. So, okay, let's start with the bot. So how do we actually do this? First of all, as always, what you have to do is that you have to open MT5. Okay, once we have this opened, you click here on IDE and this has been opened in my other screen. So let me take it here. That's it. And now you just click here on new. Again, this has been shown in my other screen. Expert advisor. Next. Here we are going to put scheduled bot. Next. Next. Finish. And that's it. Okay, we are going to take all this code and we are going to remove it because we are going to start from the beginning. So the first thing, well, the only thing that we need to know is that we have to manage and we have to use the MQL date time library. So there is a class in MQL5 called like that and we are going to use that. So we are going to put here void on tick. And here we just have to declare that how we are going to put MQL date time. That's it. Okay, now we declare an object of that type and that's it. Now we have this uh, time variable. But now we need one thing because this time variable, this time object is empty. We need to fill it with the, uh, with the actual time. There are several ways of doing this. We have several functions. So the one that we are going to use is time current. You can see that here you have a lot of functions. We are going to use time, time current. And the only thing that we have to do is to send the object, the time object. This function, this function will update this object, but it will update the object with the time of the server of your broker. So that's useful. So for example, you can see that sometimes, although in my computer it says it is um, three o'clock in the afternoon, here it is saying that it is two o'clock in the afternoon. So it will take this time, the one in the chart. But what if I want to use my time, the one in my computer? You just have to use time, well, not, not time current, sorry, time local. You have to use time local. With time local, you are going to be able to take the time from your computer. You will take quarter past three in the afternoon. That's it. Okay, so now in this, we are going to use the one in the server. So we are going to call time current. And now this is actually very simple. We put here the time variable and what we have to do is to put a condition. So for example, we are going to say, okay, we are going to do that the bot is only going to work uh, from eight in the morning until 10 in the morning. So from quarter past eight in the morning to half past 10 in the morning. So we are going to do the following. Okay. If we access the attribute hour, if the hour is below than eight or the hour is above than eight, then we are going to put here return. We are not going to do anything. We are going to add more conditions, but basically what we are saying here is that, okay, if the time is below eight or above 10, or, or above 10, then the bot is not going to do anything. So now we must be specific with the minutes. How do we do this? First of all, okay, we have checked already the hours. So now we have to check if the minutes are okay. So we are going to say the following. If we are in the hours, well, in the hour, in the right hour at eight, it, it is eight in the morning and 
Now it is the time to check the minutes. That's how you access the minutes. You just put dot min. The minutes are below 15, quarter past 8. Then we are not going to do anything. Then we are going to execute this. We need to add another condition in which we are going to say that, okay, what if we are at 10 in the morning? We want to check that the time is not above 30. It's not about half past 8. How do we do this? Time, hour, and we are going to put here 30. That's it. So here with this, we are saying, okay, no times below 8. No times above 10. And now if we are at the 8 hour, at the hour 8, then what we are going to do is that, hey, the bot must be above the 15 minute. And here the same, but with the time, with the 10, sorry. So if we are in the 10 hour, the minute must be below the 30. So this is how we do that the bot only works from quarter past eight until half past 10. So here to test this, we are going to just print something very simple and we are going to put here on time. That's it. So now you press compile, if we come here and now you select the bot. Here, I have so many bots and I have to make this big. So let me take it. So we are going to select the bot, which was the schedule bot. That's it. Here it is. Any market. And just we are just going to click start. Okay. This has been opened in my other screen. And as you can see, look at the time. It is not the right time. It is only between 8 in the morning until 10. And the minutes reset before. Check this. Now, this bar is at the minute 17. So that's why here we are getting the message on time. But check this out. Before the minute 15, there is no any message because it only works at those times. So let's see if it ends correctly. So now it shouldn't print anything uh, after this. So let's check the times. As you can see, it is still printing things. And that's because I'm wrong with something. So here I have to check. Okay, here I forgot that this is min. <laughs> Not like this. So we compile again. We are going to close this and we are going to open this. I was wrong there. You just have to put min instead of hours. And yeah, if we check this again, this is in my other screen. You can see, oh my God. You can see that now it has stopped at 10, uh, half past 10, uh, half past 10. Yeah. So yeah, guys, that's how you do this bot. It's actually something very simple. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video and if you enjoyed this, I encourage you to go to my course and check that out. Give it a like, share, subscribe and see you in the next video.